Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and today I'm going to show you how to instantiate Native Instruments Massive uh, in Personas' Studio One, and then how to do MIDI Continuous Controller or MIDI CC Control with Massive uh, to allow you to control Massive's parameters using the sliders and dials on your MIDI controller. Uh, I have a M Audio Axiom 61. It is connected to my computer via USB, and I have a blank Studio One template here. And the first thing that I need to do in Studio One is I need to create a new instrument track. So I'm going to click on Track, and I'm going to scroll down and select Add Instrument Track. This makes a new instrument track, and it's immediately record armed, and it is set for monitoring so I can hear what's happening on it. And now I need to select an instrument. Now, if it's not already selected uh, here in your browser on the right-hand side in Studio One, you want to select instruments because uh, you also have access here to effects, sounds, files, things like that. So you want to select instruments, and then you want to expand. If it's not already expanded, you want to expand the folder that matches up uh, with the plugin developer that you want to use. Um, I like to separate my plugins by vendor, but you can do it by folder, flat, category view, things like that in Studio One. So I'm going to expand Native Instruments here. I'm going to find Massive, drag it, drop it onto my instrument track here in uh, Studio One. And so now Massive is open and it's ready to go in Studio One. So you can hear I've got sound going on and everything like that. So uh, that is good to go, and what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to show you how to do MIDI CC control. So I'll just select a preset here, and so now let's say that I want to control the cutoff dial here on Massive using one of the sliders on my Axiom 61. Well, this is real easy to do, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on this cutoff knob. You're going to see this option here for MIDI Learn. I'm going to click on MIDI Learn, and now this dial is in MIDI Learn mode. Now I just need to move a slider or a knob on my uh, keyboard controller, and I should be able to take over control of that parameter. So let's move a slider. And there you can see, now that slider is linked up to the cutoff dial. So now if I right click on the cutoff dial, I'll see the CC ID that is assigned to this dial. And I can see it's CC ID 71. This tells me what's being controlled. Now I also have the option here to remove the MIDI CC. I can also uh, do MIDI learn again here and relearn this dial to a different dial on my keyboard controller. Um, so this gives me a lot of control here over how I can take over the control of the various parameters in Massive. Now I can just move along down the list here and I can set a dial to each of the various uh, dials and knobs on my MIDI controller. Now another thing I should mention is if you right click on one of these dials and you select MIDI Learn and then you use the same dial that you did for a previous one, so I'll use CC71 again. This will assign the MIDI CC to that dial and it will undo the setting for that previous dial so as to avoid crosstalk. So that's just something that you want to keep in mind um, as you're moving along and you're doing the MIDI CC control here uh, in Massive or in any other Native Instruments plugin in Studio One. But you can see how quick and easy this is. This allows me to map these controls real fast to all the controls on my keyboard controller. And then when I'm all done, I can, of course, just play with Massive. So that's really cool. It lets me get a lot of great control over the plugin, have some fun with it, and uh, takes the control off of just using the mouse. As always, I hope that this has been useful to you guys. If you have any questions or comments, please get in touch with me, brian at obedia.com or on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obediatutor. And until next time, thanks for watching and happy music making to you. Yeah.